Shirts. Um, we are looking at getting the Irish Spirit t shirts printed out for some of the events that we have coming up at Buffalo River Works. So, and we'll have these as well. So, if you come out to our events, you can pick um, what we have up locally. Um, you can check out our um, Buffalo NY Spirit for things like canvas bags, phone cases, gaiters, sweatshirts, t-shirts, yoga pants. Um, so yeah, I wore um, Galaxy yoga pants for my sister Brooke Jordan because I know she loves them so much. And I was thinking about her earlier and being in Colorado and doing fun things in Galaxy yoga pants. Um, so these are for you, Brooke. <laughs> um, so my name is Angela Miklas. I'm an owner of Vivid Buffalo. I will be reading tonight from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie. Um, this book is very dear to my heart. It's one that I like to read on a daily basis. Lucky me, there's little sections, one for each day. Um, so it's been a book that I use to help keep me centered and mindful. Um, I like to read it before a yoga class. Um, I like to read it to my students before a yoga class and um, for our art students as well to help set an intention, um, get grounded before engaging in a mindful practice. And tonight, I'm going to catch up because they accounted for a leap year, so we are one day behind. So I'll get right into the reading. Um, we'll ground, we'll breathe. Um, Buffalo, Yo Buffalo River Works Yoga Brunch is filling up, um, the first date. But there are multiple dates now, so get in there, buy your ticket. Um, the ticket includes the yoga class and brunch, and then if you want bottomless mimosas on top of that, you can add um, an additional charge for um, that. But it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm so excited that so many people have signed up already. Um, I am thrilled to be teaching yoga again and connecting with people in that way. Um, it's been amazing just to be back in the studio practicing, mask. I don't care. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's um, life changing. And I'm just so glad to be with my fellow yogis again, um, engaging in that practice. Beautiful thing. So sign up for your yoga brunch, or we have art classes. So go to Vivid Buffalo's Eventbrite. So we went over retail, we went over Vivid Buffalo Eventbrite, get there, and then. Um, you know, if you're looking for employment opportunities, feel free to forward your resume to me. I may be able to point you to some local companies that um, are looking. And let's get into the reading so that we can get caught up. And I don't even know what they are today, so if they're super long, we'll see how it goes. So today's reading. <coughs> So confusing being a day behind. Okay. So I think we are value your past and all of the lessons you have learned. How easy it is to diminish the importance of our past and look on our history with a critical eye. We see the mistakes. We see what we think we should have known. We see what we could have done better. What we forget is that the reason we're able to see so clearly is because the past happened. Because what has happened has taught us. 
Often it is the very experiences we regret that have created this clear vision. Value what you have learned in your past. Each lesson has led to the next. Every person and every event in each part of your life has been invaluable in shaping and forming you, in creating the person you are today. Each part of your past, each person who has come into your life and shared experiences with you has helped you to open your heart more to love, to life, to God, to others, and yourself. Even those experiences you think of as wrong or mistakes have been an important and necessary part in creating you. Sometimes those experiences formed the most important parts of you because they created you in compassion and understanding. Often the most painful events of your life are the ones that opened you to your ability to bring healing, help, and hope to others. Your past taught you to love. Love others and yourself. It has helped you become a channel for divine love and a force for good in this world. When you look back at your past, Look tenderly and gently at all you have been through. Look with the eyes of the soul. See that each experience was necessary to bring you home to your heart. Gather your experiences. Treat them as precious jewels. The purpose of the journey is not to guard and restrain yourself. The purpose is to learn. You do not teach and lead your soul. Your soul leads and teaches you. It takes you wading across streams, strolling through meadows, deep into valleys, and high unto mountaintops. It takes you down winding, narrow roads and along fast-moving four-lane highways. It takes you to the tiny cafes, bustling cities, and out-of-the-way hostels where people break bread and tell what they've learned. Let yourself have all of your experiences. Don't limit or judge yourself or the adventures you've had. All were necessary. All were important. All have helped shape and form you. Your heart will lead you and guide you where you need to go. Don't worry about getting lost or off track. Don't worry about being wrong or in the wrong place at the wrong time. Gather experiences. Go through them. Select the gems from each. Listen while others tell you their stories, their adventures, and show you their jewels, the truths that they have learned. Then, when you break bread and sip soup with others, open your heart joyfully and share what has happened to you along the way. Having experiences is called living. Sharing experiences is called loving. Let yourself enjoy both. That was a lot of really good stuff. And it takes an open heart to feel it all. So with that, put your hand on your heart. 
feel the vibration of the beat and start to notice your breath in relation to your heartbeat. Taking deep inhales and exhales. Beat, beat, breath. Beat, beat, breath. Thank you, my friends. Two beautiful readings, bunch of good information. We fit it all in. Thank you. Um, really good work. And with that, really good work meaning just like, thanks for all your support. Thanks for getting what Vivid Buffalo is. Thank you for your, um, Thank you for showing up at class. Just thank you for being there and taking part in these mindful practices that make us all more open and loving and creative with an open heart and an open spirit. So with that, thank you all and thank you for the good work. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.